Hi everyone, so I am back with another um, build a journal card. i done the build a tag using the Spring Mist uh, collaboration kit between myself and Andrea. So I said I was going to do these. I'm going to use some index cards for my backing. Um, you could coffee dye these if you want. I don't have any coffee dyed at the moment. So I've got four. I'm going to try and make four in a video, in a short video. I've got butterflies again. I'm using the same kind of elements from the kit, which is the full stamps. Um, these are the freebie words from Artie Mays on Artie Mays and Friends on Facebook. And it's got some words there as well. So I'm just going to set them out of the way for now. So I'll get them all over the place. Or I'll lose them, one of the two. So <clears throat> I have the um, Traveller's Notebook size in my shop, if you're interested. And Andrea, Artie Mays, has the full journal size in her shop. Um, both of them links will be below if you're interested. So let's crack on. So I'm going to try and get two journal cards out of each one. I possibly could get three, but who knows. The bits that are left I could make into tags anyway. Okay, so first of all, I am going to decide which part of the paper that I want to use. Um, up here, I think I'm going to, I'm going to want th about that piece there. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'll just go straight in, right, and cut it. Just having a little peek. Yep, that's exactly what I want. And I'm going to go in with my ruler and cut the shape. Where's my knife? I was going to say my scissors, but no, my knife. And I'm just going to tear that up there because... No, it's not working. There we go. I should have took it right to the edge. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to turn that around, trying to keep it in place. And... Just cut along here. So, you know, you can use that all, the, you know, even though these pages are like digital journal pages, you can use them as you would do, say, scrapbooking paper. You don't have to use them as a page, you know, or you can do your journal and then, you know, continue using the pages to make other elements for your journal even though you do get a good selection of tags and envelopes and ephemera with most kits. <clears throat> okay, right. So that's that one. And then this one. Sorry, this is going to be a little bit of a drag doing the cutting out, but it is what it is. You see, I can use that piece to do some collage work. And then I'm just going to, and all these little bits I will keep because like I said, great for collage work. You know, you could just measure it out and do it on your, your cutter, but I'm doing it like this. <laughs> Everybody works differently. Um, Okay, that's number two. And onto the other page here. Now I think um okay, and I want that right up there. Cut that right down. I think I need to snap off a piece on my blade. Right, so I want it about there. I mean, if you're my index cards, I'll tell you the measurements of them in a second. Um, I think they're like three by five, I'm not sure, but we'll see in a sec. Right, so that's that one. 
And then uh, the last one, I think I'll do the, what about here? If you haven't seen my other video it's the one before this <laughs> and I have made a playlist called spring mist journals and ephemera I think um, so I think that's what it's called spring mist journals and ephemera so anything that I make with this kit I'm gonna put in that playlist okay right so I was happy with all them so I'm gonna glue where is my glue? There we go. I'm going to be stitching, so I'm just putting this down to hold it in place, basically. If you don't have index cards, I'm oh, sorry, I said I was going to measure these, right? So they are, yeah, they're five by three. Yep, five by three. You can use bigger ones if you like. If you're doing a, you know, using the the larger journal kits then you might want to use the big jumbo index cards sort of my heads there we go so once i've glued all them down i will be stitching them just going to move that little bit of glue right So, like I said, these um, there's so much you can do with the kits. You don't just have to use them, you know, as a journal page or as a tag. And I do, I do use a lot of like the background pages to make tags and envelopes, pockets. Um, <clears throat> you know, the most kits are very um, universal. You can do so much with them. And it's great with um, when you've got all the little elements that comes with a kit. You know, if you've got um, like little bits of ephemera and little full stamps and uh, words and things like that. Because then you can just build everything up with that kit. Right, so I'm going to go off and I'm going to stitch around the edges of these and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've stitched all around the edges. I'm going to ink it up now. Hopefully this is a, another quick video. Um, I know a lot of you really like the quick videos um, and I'm the same um, the longer videos I like I really have to be in the mood to um, sit down and like watch for an hour um, it's just how my brain works I guess um, absolutely nothing wrong with them I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with them but they're just um, I prefer quick to the point videos um, Obviously, if it's, you know, something very, very detailed, it is going to take a little bit longer. I don't know what's going on with that thread. I might have to change the tension on that a little bit because it's kind of um, ruffled up at the back. Uh, it is new cotton that I've just put in. It's a new brand as well. So sometimes you have to fiddle around with your, um, pr not your printer. Oh, I've got printers in the brain, me. You do have to fiddle around to get the right tension with certain cottons. So I'll have to have a little test to play with that. Actually talking about printers, <laughs> as most of you know, my uh, laser printer is still in the house getting looked at and new parts and oh, trying to update the firmware on it. And guess what? It's not doing it and it's still printing out full blue sheets, not just the images. The whole paper is blue. Um, so <clears throat> we've got one more thing to try on it. Um, and then if that doesn't work, I'm going to buy myself a Epsom Eco Tank printer. I've already found one just in case. Got it on like, uh, got it in my basket on eBay, not eBay, um, Amazon. So uh, we shall see if the laser doesn't work. I've spent a fortune on that laser trying to get it fixed. Um, and to be quite honest, I could have bought the new, I could have bought a new printer. I really could have. But you know, I just I was really hoping that it was going to work. Right, so. 
just going to have a little play around here and see where things might go. I might not use everything on these and might just be quite simple. I've got four of these um, full stamps from the kit. And like I said, I might not use them all. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a thinking game here. Right. Well, let's do that. I see. I like. I just like that as it is. But I am going to decorate it. Um, that one might just have a butterfly. Who knows? And a word. It's a bit too big. Not quite sure here. Um, just going to go with my gut instincts, I think. Right, I'm going to do that one first. Right, what I'm going to do with this is, sorry about the thinking process, but that's just how things are. I haven't planned any of these. Um, I'm just going to glue down two sides so that I've got a tuck on here. I hope that's the right way. I think it might not be, but I'm going to cover that with a butterfly anyway. I think I've done that upside down, but yeah, don't do as I do. <laughs> uh, I, was, I used to get told as a kid, don't, what was it, do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> that was what it was. Right, I'm going to put a butterfly on there. Then I can slip in a little tag in there as well. Um, I may put a word up there. But what I do want to add is... Um, I've got some coffee dyed paper somewhere from stock, I should say. I'm going to add some tabs on these as well. So I'm going to punch out four of these. This is the um, retired stamping up tab. You can, obviously, like I said, it's retired, so you can't, I don't think you can buy it anymore. I don't think they've maybe changed it or anything like that. But you can, if you're lucky, find them on eBay and people are selling them. And I do know they go for a lot of money because they're, they're such a popular punch. Right, now I could have that there or I could have that in the middle and flourish down here. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Gosh, I hope I'm in frame. I hope I've actually clicked record. Right, so I'm just going to put that, kind of make sure it's in the centre as best as I can. Perfect. Then I'm just going to Put the word down I'll just put it down here then see what see some of these pieces that I actually chopped off um, like that piece there I'm going to turn that into a tag to go in there just a little tag I think How about that size I'm gonna back that on too some cardstock where's my little card Just fell down the side so here in the UK we are going to here on Monday I think it's Monday the 22nd what date is it today yeah, so it's Monday. We're going to be hearing uh, the lifting of the lockdown and how it's going to be for us. Um, I think kids will be returning to school. Well, there is kids at school, but they're key workers' kids. Um, and the possibility of meeting others outside the home. So it will still be with restrictions. You won't still be allowed people in your home. So I'm just going to trim that off or down just a little bit.
and a little bit more. I mean, you don't have to put anything inside it. You could like, you know, if you're actually using it for yourself, you could um, put a little photograph inside there. Okay, right. Oh, we could actually have a little word up the side there. Maybe not. I'll just leave that as it is um, just now and work on the other ones. And I would obviously put some bling on there. Three little pieces. <clears throat> and I think I'll stitch around that, but I won't do that now because it'll take up too much time. Um, but I will show these when they're all done. Right, I'm going to do another one. Okay, this one I'm not going to make a pocket because I think it's quite nice as it is. So I'm going to put the word growth on here. And like I said, that's a freebie from Artemis. It'd also be nice if you've got like a fine um, tipped pen. You could kind of do some full stitching around there or you could do some actual stitching. It's up to you. Um, let's have a play around. No, I think. Mm. I don't know whether to do that up there in the butterfly down here. Oh, decisions, decisions. Or oh, I kind of like in that at the moment. I know you've seen some of my things with the butterfly, like just underneath. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's put a bit down the middle. And a bit there. And I'm going to put it at an angle. And then just put a bit of glue on here. And then just press that down. And the bling. <coughs> And a tab. Just got to ink that up. Um, we would also like to go on a holiday this year, but I think we'll only be allowed to stay um, in the UK. But again, that's something else. Might put that at the side there. That's something else that we have to wait and see with all the unleashing of the lockdown um i'm not too worried about going abroad um i just want to be able to go to cornwall and to go to scotland so only two places i really want to go i want to go and see we've obviously got family in cornwall and friends family and friends in cornwall and i will no doubt meet up with Andrea and get up to some shenanigans <laughs> and uh, when I go to Scotland I'll do exactly the same but obviously not meeting up with Andrea um, but yeah it'll be like fun and games when I go to Scotland as well right let's see I do like that um, this one's just going to be really really simple I think you know what I'm going to make that into a tiny tiny pocket just a teeny tiny pocket. Oops, I did I? Right. And these actually, I glued them down and then I covered them with the first time I've ever bought that. This, the um, gel matte medium, and oh my god, I have to say it's really good. Um, I've got that actually to try. Um, Going to be doing some collage work and um, like paints and stuff like that, so that's why I bought that. Um, but I thought I'd try it on these, and it does give a nice feel. And it's you know, obviously it's sealed. And if I wanted, if I wanted to color that in, you could color that in, which I think is a great idea. Right, a little pocket, a little pocket, a little tag to go in there, a teeny tiny tag. Right, so 
realistically it's just want it to be the width of the ruler see that's why you throw nothing away right so fold that up cut that off i will back that actually i won't back it right now because it's, i know this video is getting a little bit long but i will back that and put a little bit of fluff or something on it but i'm just going to do this for quickness let's see if that fits in there yes okay so the little tag's going to go in there um i'm going to want a tab on there as well I need one of them holders where you know you can put your lead on your glue and you can store it upside down so that you know it's there when you want it not you've got to shake it and break your wrist <laughs> um, okay so that's there and I'm going to put a word now, do I want the green word yeah I don't know do I want the black word hang on I don't know what's going to make it pop. see the black obviously does make it pop so I'm going to use the black So these words are called spring, spring words and uh, sayings, I think it's called. Um, I did show it when I done the other video. Obviously, I've been using this now. So it's like that. And I've been cutting them up. I'm going to cut all them up and put them in the little tin that I've got for them. That I was supposed to alter a couple of years ago and I gessoed it and that's all I've done to it. <laughs> Good intentions right so that's that one i'm just happy with that we've got a little pocket on there you can journal on the back and this one here let's see how i'm going to do this um and i've got a butterfly do i want oh that's quite nice let's see let's see um got these little sayings here uh never yet was a springtime when the buds forgot to bloom that's just that's nice actually so I'm going to put the butterfly on at an angle just down in this corner like it's landed on the stems of the flowers then pop that on there And then this word I might not even use. Right, I'm going to put my tab on first and see what it looks like. So I've got two, t I've got tabs to the left, to the right, and one in the middle. So I'm going to do another one in the middle. Because if you paper clip these onto a page, your tabs will stick out a little bit. So I'll try and find the centre. As best as I can and I didn't ink that one up and there we go okay not a problem do I want a word I don't want that I think I'll just put one I'll just put it up there whoops So there we go so i didn't use any, all of that so that'll get used for something else right so there we have it for quick and easy um build a journal card using the spring mist kit and obviously you can just pop that in your journal and that's you've got loads of other things um like obviously i've made the tags You know, and that's all from things that weren't, well, obviously they were in the kit, <laughs> the kit, but, you know, you've built that yourself. You've designed your little thing from the kit. Right, I need to add some bling. So I do. And then that will be me done. Um, I will, obviously, like I said, I will back that and I'll put a little bit of something on there. 
and you'll see the pictures at the beginning of this video. I'm learning very slowly how to do a little bit on um, iMovie. Okay, there's some here. There we go. So there we have it. That didn't take long at all. So, Spring Mist, the links are below um, for both kits. Uh, Andrea's full size and my TN size if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions about this, just ask and thank you for watching. Bye.